Okie dokie, folky folky. Okay, how's it going? Right, today we're going to um, do a little function and um, we're going to do some if statements and we're going to do a little for loop and we're going to print out some numbers and when the for loop gets to a certain number it's going to break out and it's going to go into another function and print out some information. Okay, all will be revealed very soon, so just follow along with me. So I'm going to create a little list called my numbers, like that. My numbers is equal to, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oi. Oh dear, 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 made a mistake there. So, so one, two, uh, Three. Oi! Everything's everything that can go wrong going wrong now. Let's start again, shall we? Okay. So my numbers equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we've got eight there. So we've got our little list, and we're going to come down here. And uh, I'm going to create the function now it's called define numbers. Right, so here comes our little for loop for number in numbers. Okay, and here come our little conditional statements. If number is equal to one. Okay, I'm going to print one. Okay, <clears throat> if number is equal to two, I'm going to print and the last one I'm going to do is if number is equal to three we are going to print three okay so we're going to print up to three <coughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump out of this function and I'm going to go into another function called names on here. So we're going to create that. So we're going to jump out of it there. And we're going to go into this function here called names. Okay, so. And then we're going to print some information. Uh, my name is Michael. Kane. My name is Michael Kane. I wish I could do the accent, but I can't do the accent, so uh, I'm not even going to bother attempting to do it. So <clears throat> we'll just close that off there. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to multiply this by, let's say, 34. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put numbers here. So we're going to, once we printed that off 34 times, we're going to jump back to uh, this function here. Okay, now all that's left is to call the function. So we're going to call the function by numbers. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that and uh, I'm going to run it for you. Whoops, what's that? Function object is not iterable. Let's have a look here. What's going on? So, guess where I've made my little mistake? I've called it numbers instead of my numbers. Okay, there we go. Okay, save it. Let's run the program. There you go. Whoa, look at that. Click on 
on that. Right, there we go. My name is Michael Kane. My name is Michael Kane. One, two, three. There we go. And it just keeps on going and going and going. It's an infinite loop. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, if it has, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.